there is a certain power that lies within just a split second. We are seeing today the first ever public uh, EV crash. So we are crashing two electric vehicles into each other. We do this with a velocity of 56 kilometers per hour and an overlap of 50%. Uh, we are doing this test to show that first, the electrical vehicles with uh, an electrical powertrain have the same performance than vehicles with combustion engines. This could be also happening on a real road with uh, real traffic with real people. Safety is teamwork. There are various steps and various people involved. At first, we start by doing different simulations. When we are ready to uh, do a crash test, we get a car f here right from the production line. And the first thing that we do is we paint the car orange. We take this orange color because when we first started doing crash tests, it was just black and white filming. And on the black and white films, this orange color was the best contrast. When the car is painted, we place measuring instruments, a lot of technical equipment into the car to make sure that all the signals from the dummies are all coming together. Dummies are a measuring device which are used to evaluate the safety of our cars. This is up to 150 sensors which are inside those dummies. So the sensors measure different forces, uh, different acceleration and compressions. Those measurements are directly linked to possibilities of injuries. One of the most important things which has to be prepared is that the dummy is working properly. The kinematics are correct, the sensors are measuring properly. And then we have to make sure that the dummies are positioned correctly in the car. What makes a difference here is that the airbags and the belt tensioners are safety systems that we focus on here at the facility. Those are activated within just a split second. And that's this engineering excellence we have, that in this second all the systems are working at the right time, in the right position, at the right place. When the vehicles are being placed on the track and the cameras are rolling and the light is on, everybody has to check if the systems are all right, if the measuring systems are online, and then we're ready to go. It's important that, especially with electric vehicles, that there is no damage to the battery and to the high voltage components. Both vehicles look completely destroyed at first and the front looks severely damaged. This is part of the protection concept for the occupants. The front of the vehicles deform as designed to effectively absorb energy and reduce the forces to the occupants. We are very pleased with, uh, with the results of the test. We have to protect the occupants and the battery. The battery remains stable and the high voltage system switch off. The body in white works very well. The crumble zone is very good. The chance is very low that the occupants and therefore the dummies have fatal injuries. And I'm very impressed. It's a milestone of our development. Our vision is zero fatal accidents in 2050. 
for us, for everybody here, the approach is to make the road traffic safer for everybody. There is. My name is Hannah Paul and I am responsible for the dummy technology at the testing center. The test is very special because we can see how we fulfill our approach of real life safety regardless of size and gender. Dummies are a measuring device which are used to evaluate the safety of our cars. But this is up to 150 sensors uh, which are inside those dummies. So the sensors measure um, different forces, uh, different acceleration and um, compressions. And uh, those measurements 
are directly linked to possibilities of injuries. In the 80s, there was only one dummy type available, a male frontal impact dummy. The dummy population has widened a lot in the last decades. So nowadays we have dummies representing women, men, and children, and we have dummies for different load cases, such as frontal impact, side impact, and rear impact. I saw a lot of crashes, but this one is very special because new drivetrain with electric, both of them, a really uh, big SUV against a small SUV. The secret is that the system are working together. The body in white, the belts, the airbags, and especially the team. Safety is always teamwork. The velocity of 56 kph is typical for accident in the field. And the highest standard we have in the automotive industry for crash tests. We make, don't make any difference. Uh, every drivetrain is the same. The most important thing is to save people's life, to save the occupants in the car, and independent which drivetrain is in the car. If we look a few years ahead, it's a really purpose to work on this topic, save people's life. And our vision is, vision zero in 2050, that means zero fatal accidents with a car from Mercedes-Benz. There is no bigger purpose than saving people's lives.